Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia. In the last episode, we graduated from the Ranger School and are now ready to set off into the world and become a full-fledged Pokemon Ranger. In this episode, let's see what lies in store for us in the region of Almia. It's Youngster Joey! No, his name is Little Boy. Hello, you seem busy. Apparently not busy enough, I'm able to talk to random pedestrians. Now, this is going to be kind of Ako Taco in case the LP wasn't Ako Taco enough already, but I genuinely have no clue where I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to do, so if I start going off into a random conversation topic, I'll sometimes get stopped by the story, and I'll just have to stop talking about whatever the fruit. But I guess that's not too off from the norm around here. Hi, Jenny, you're looking good. I was looking forward to your arrival so much, so I decided to come wait for you. Come on, let's go to the ranger base. I just left someone to guide me around this place. Okay, I was like, why the fruit is Baneri doing but it was on her head? That makes a bit more sense. Are you maybe feeling a little nervous? It makes me remember what it was like for me just a year ago. Well, let's go inside. Everyone's waiting for you. Well, does it bring back memories of last episode? Yeah. It's like you remembered it, isn't it? The people in the place haven't changed, because I would take animation budget. Well, duh, your visit wasn't all that long ago. Jenny, you little so-and-so. What made you come here? Wahahaha, <laughs> welcome aboard. Oh, before that, there's something I forgot to say. Congratulations on graduating from the Ranger School. We heard about your heroics at the graduation ceremony, too. I heard Keith became a Ranger as well. But he's in the Fjord region? Oh, right, about today's lunch delivery. No, no, I'm just kidding. You'll be stuck hearing Crawford's jokes regularly from now on. You'll have to get used to it. Jenny, you should go get changed. The changing room is over there. And the only room, it seems. Belt too tight for you? Are the boots too big? Is everything alright with your uniform? Hmm. The uniform looks good on you. You'll wear it well. Okay, the time has come. I confer this to you in recognition of your status as an official ranger. Your capture styler. Maybe to be in the mood of it all, I should have been using like the little strap that came with the original DS model to use the stylus instead, and then when I became an official ranger, then I would use a stylus. Yeah, that's it. That officially makes you a certified Pokemon ranger. Well, how does it feel to hold that? The capture styler enables you to use Poke Assist. It's a feature that your old styler, your old school styler, never had. Is it old school and old school? <laughs> Poke Assist? What's that? Your expression says it all, kiddo. Crawford will explain it to you. And, of course, even when we graduate, Beedoof is still haunting us. For a Poke Assist, get a Pokemon in your party to use the ability during a capture. The button on the bottom right of the touchscreen opens the Poke Assist menu. From the menu, choose the Pokemon you want help from. Please choose a Pokemon. Gee, I wonder who I should choose. So he's going to use Blastoise, and aside from the abilities he could use on top of the field, like crushing or tackling, a water type like Blastoise can use an ability called Rain Dance. A bubble will form if you hold down with the Styler, and the bubble in question will do what looks like damage, but it's actually allowing us to uh, fill up the ring, uh, fill up the capture gauge without actually uh, drawing rings around it. If you want to make a bigger bubble, then we just hold down even longer. Just keep touching the same spot. A bubble isn't the only isn't only more powerful, it's also harder for the target to avoid. When hit by a bubble, the target Pokemon is slowed down. When slow, the target Pokemon becomes sluggish and heavy-footed. If the target Pokemon is slowed, that's your chance for an easy capture. Wish I could create perfect circles like that. As convenient as they are, Poke Assist can't be used whenever you feel like it. Do you see the big countdown on the upper screen or lower screen? That's the selected Poke Assist this time. It counts down while using the, the Poke Assist. When it gets to a zero, the Poke Assist is used up. Once you activate a Poke Assist, you don't have time to go on vacation, okay? Trainees shouldn't consider themselves a real ranger until they learn how to use Poke Assist effectively. 
if you want to know more about Pokesis, check the glossary. All right, people, fall in! I suppose it's not really necessary to do formal introductions, but as the leader here, I'd like to uphold tradition. People, today we welcome Jenny as the latest member of our ranger base. Maybe it was fated to happen after that day one internship. Or one day internship, not day one internship. I'm Barlow, I'm the ranger leader here. I'm glad to have you on board. The smiley guy in the middle is our resident jokester, Crawford. He's the tallest person in Vient Town. And his hair is that explosion of an afro- You have not lived, good sir. Stinking all meites don't know what it means to be a true afro appreciative aficionado. They gotta get themselves out to Aura ASAP. Next to Crawford on the left is Luana. She's a bit scatterbrained. Just this morning she incinerated toast. She basically she has brilliantly white teeth though, okay. Elaine, our mechanic, would choose tinkering with machines over romance. The problem is, she likes taking things apart more than assembling them. Last but not least, behind the counter is our always smiling operator. She's won the salary recharging contest three years in a row. Wow, they have contests for plugging in a charger. Cool. And that kid is our entire team. Incidentally, I hate to say this, but things are getting strange around Vient Town. It's so bad for the place can't live up to the bi to the billing. For relaxation, this is your town. Remember that Pokemon trouble we had at the beach? Since then, there have been things have started slowly turning strange. Whether Vien Town returns to being a relaxing place or not depends on us. It's our job as rangers to put things right. Jenny, I'm expecting big things from you. That goes for everyone else too. I'm counting on you all. Let's not waste any time, Jenny. Here's your first mission. I want you to go with Crawford and help him do the job. Join him in delivering the Vienne Tribune. It's a job Crawford usually does by himself. Visit every home in Vienne Town and Chicole Village and deliver the newspaper. We're delivering papers? Okay. I guess it's slightly more interesting than going to school every day. Mission! Deliver Vienne Tribune! I wrote about you in the issue of the Vienne Tribune, actually. I'm gonna mispronounce it. I'm gonna change the pronunciation every single time I say it. So, uh, that's it. He's just like, I wrote about you. Da da da. Huh? Sorry, I was thinking up some jokes. <laughs> that's like me. So, I guess we just gotta find everyone in Vienne. Do we have to go, like, people outside the houses, too? Why, hello. It's nice of you to stop and chat. Apparently not. Uh, Pokemon people live by helping each other. Yep. Uh, I guess that's it. We could go into this house. You just look at the bottom screen like I taught you all so long ago. Yes, I taught you the art of looking at your other screen. Mommy, the Vienne Tribune's here! Okay, what the fruit, Happini? I think I do them just like waiting, like hanging onto the ceiling and being like, I must attack the postman! Oh, you must be the new ranger. Were you surprised with our Happini when our Happini greeted you? Yalmi at times is fine, but I like the Vienne Tribune. I wanted to read more of the Ranger Tales series. Oh, thank you. So today's headline is Good Things Expected of Rookie Ranger. Now that's an intriguing story, is it though? Guess we could head out. So I suppose this is giving us an introduction to all these houses. Maybe I was a little bit ahead of myself when going through these houses before. So I ruined the surprise of the Happini. Huh? Nobody home, I guess. Mr. Woodward's one for going on walks around this time. I'm guessing he's at Nabiki Beach. It's to the west of here. Let's saunter out there. Why can't we just leave the paper here like a normal postman newspaper delivery person? I don't know. Guess we'll save that for last, though. Mama, Crawford and somebody else brought the Vian Tribune! Hi, new ranger. Your uniform looks brand new. Mama, Vian Tribune come! Mama, Oom Crawford! Oh, Oom Crawford? I don't know what the fruit. Crawford brought the newspaper. A stranger came too. Waddle waddle. Waddle 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 waddle. Big Bertha. Okay. You're the one who came to my husband's rescue at the Ranger School, aren't you? I surely needed you to, to thank you for that. We were saying how good it'd be if that student came to a Ranger in our town. You sure saved me from a maulin'. Those may do for out to get me. 
meeting a lot of interesting characters left and right. I guess we have to say goodbye to our previous cast of characters that we already gotten attached to, and now we have to get acquainted with all these folks. It's kind of weird that, like, you thought we would be with them throughout the entire game, but then we all went our separate ways, because not all of our dreams align. Not everyone's out there to be the very best, like no one ever was. Not everyone wants to be a gym leader. Not everyone wants to be a coordinator. There's a lot of uh, branching pathways in the world of Pokemon, even though they are all intertwined with an overall love and adoration for Pokemon, which is kind of cool to see how many different places you could end up in this world, and it seems to be ever-expanding every single day. So we head out to the west like he told us to, we might be able to find the dude we're supposed to deliver the paper to. Munchlax? It's that Munchlax from before. Munchlax seems to remember Jenny. Hmm, are you perhaps that student from the Ranger School? Well, well, congratulations on graduating. It seems this Munchlax has been waiting for you to become a Ranger. Quite often I'd seen it loitering around the beach as it were looking for someone. Oh, I feel so bad! There's an old saying that if you meet on this beach, you become good friends. I'm thinking there's something to that. Jenny, you're a Pokemon Ranger proper, so you could have a partner now. You're free to make that Munchlax your official partner Pokemon. Good for you. Munchlax became your partner. Munchlax! Partner Pokemon is one that's especially friendly with a Ranger. The bond between them is so tight, they always travel together. Your partner Pokemon could even help you during captures. Since I'm already explaining, I guess I should tell you about the partner gauge, too. Suddenly Bidoof! <laughs> to use your partner's Pokemon Poke Assist, partner Pokemon's Poke Assist, try something that five times fast, you've got to fill up your partner gauge. You can fill up the partner gauge on top of the energy gauge. To fill up the partner gauge, you need to complete loops around the target. It's like this, the more loops you draw, the more the partner gauge fills up. When the partner gauge is filled, open the Poke Assist menu with the button on the bottom right and choose your partner. For example, Munchlax has a normal Poke Assist. It boosts the styler's power and it lengthens the capture line. Use Munchlax's Poke Assist if you want a faster capture or if your target is slow to accept your feelings of friendship. If you use your partner's Poke Assist, it isn't released like other Pokemon. However, the partner gauge must be filled up to use your partner's Poke Assist again. You need to be smart about the timing of using your Pokemon, your partner's Poke Assist, okay? You'll learn, I'm sure, by trying things out. Well, we bunch lax, it seems like that your part patience has been rewarded. Oops, I almost forgot. You're Vienne Tribune, Mr. Woodward. Oh, the latest edition, is it? No, it's the last week's edition. The large text makes it easy for my tired eyes to read. I appreciate that. Would appreciated that last recording session. Jeez. Young Ranger, please be sure to treat that bunch lax with care and affection. It was so weird and bewildering having a Munchlax of all things be a partner, because like it's such a like a difficult Pokemon to get in Diamond and Pearl. If anyone ever got one legitimately back in the old days, I uh, envy you immensely. But it was always just uh, it was an intriguing Pokemon in the anime because it was one of the few Pokemon that they introduced before Gen 4 was announced, just being like, "Oh, a new generation's upon us! It's really exciting." I got a, got into a fight with my girlfriend over something really trivial, and now she's just gone. Uh oh. I see some drama! Hopefully that's not part of our job description, though. Uh, we have a cave down there. I don't know if we could, over, we could get there right now. Maybe later on. But we delivered all the newspapers, so I guess we could just head back. And Munchlax just travels with us on the overworld for the rest of the game. If you had decided to capture Starly or Pachirisu, you would have gotten them to be your partner instead. I'm not going to go over what their Poke Assists are like just yet, because... Um, who knows? We did hear about being able to have multiple partners throughout the game and just as our time as a Pokemon Ranger, so perhaps Munchlax won't be our only partner and we'll get to go over them at a later time. 
so I guess only time will tell. And now that all that's taken care of, we got ourselves a new partner, and we've completed our first mission as an official Pokémon Ranger. You may as well take the opportunity to drop in on your folks. It'd be a chance to show off your spiffy new uniform, right? I guess that's what we're gonna do now, even though we've delivered all the papers. What, do we have to go to Chicole Village too? They don't deserve no newspaper of the VN Tribune. They deserve, like, the Chicole... Boring. I don't know. I have no idea what... Uh... How, who comes up with, the, with these snappy titles for newspaper... Uh... Titles? The titles for newspaper titles. This is a great LP, wouldn't you say? Okay, let's head uh, through this away. We got Wild Baneary, more Wild Baneary. So in terms of using the Poke Assist, I typically don't like to use them because it's going to be like a... I have like vague flashbacks of it being like a big pain in the booty whenever it was like you would use a Poke Assist to um, help you in battle, but then you go into an area that you can't access because you don't have the Pokemon with you anymore. I think it's just more beneficial to not have to backtrack. And speaking of backtrack, I'm in the completely wrong direction, I know. It's more beneficial to not have to backtrack whenever you um, end up using up a Pokemon that you needed to clear an obstacle. I think that's more beneficial, and like, hopefully I'm capable of just drawing circles easily, so I don't need to uh, do that multiple times. I don't have to use the assist too often, but I think it'll still be cool to like at least show off all the different types of assists. I'll try my best to remember to do so. But let's see if we go down here, down the Chicoli path. We have made it back to our hometown. Do we need to deliver papers to everyone, or are we just gonna go visit our folks? Uh, no, yeah, we're delivering papers to everyone here. Your first ranger job is delivering the Vienne Tribune? That's sort of cool in its own way. Thanks for delivering this. Let's see now. Well, the, well, other than Crawford's best jokes, everything else looks interesting. I'm just teasing about Crawford. Jeez, guys are rough. I would look out for my fellow fro bro, but come on, you cannot call that a stinking fro. I'm just like beyond disappointed at the audacity of even claiming that to be such a thing. Oh, so this is the Vienna Tribune! We just moved here, so I have not had a chance to read it yet. The Rangers publish these newspapers and hand deliver them here. It's not as easy as it looks. This is the Vienna Tribune? Are there any articles about on, on Riolu? Riolu was another hip new Pokemon on the scene back in the dizzy day. Though I guess since this is post-Gen 4, it's not all hip and happening anymore, because that's how kids always think. They're always just like, oh, it's just like, it's not brand new. It's not something I don't have anymore, so therefore I don't care about it. Mm, it's so yesterday. It's so out of touch. Hopefully she didn't say anything important, because I was not listening anyway whatsoever. And last but not least, we're going to deliver the paper to our house in the middle of the West. What's this? The Vian Tribune, is it? Here to deliver this door to door? I'd like to think you were given this job so you could get acquainted with the local people. Big sister, why do you why are you delivering the Vian Tribune? When you look so cool in your new uniform. Well, isn't this a nice uniform? The material looks like it's in good quality. The design is wonderful too. Ranger Crawford, my Jenny is still just a child. Please keep an eye on my firstborn. But not little sis, because she's not important enough to have her own sprite or character name or anything like that, so her safety is not of my concern. And like I had nothing to say about our munchlax. That's it, we are done with the deliveries. Let's head back to the ranger base. I guess we're gonna head back now. On the way back, I decided to capture some Pokemon just for the heck of it, and it looks like we are going to level up our Styler in the process. We are up to level 7. And just for the sake of not making this entire episode about newspaper deliveries, I decided to cut out some of the backtracking and replace it with... Nothing, because we're here now. Final question, Ranger Leader Barlow. If you were to describe a Ranger's job in one word, what would it be? Hmm, that's a tough one. Oh, look who's back. That was your first official mission, wasn't it? Good for you, that's your mission clear. Mission clear. No, oh, what's this I see? That munchlax behind you. What's the story here? Story? You already know it. That's Jenny's first partner Pokemon. Don't you remember? It's the same munchlax from before. 
You know, the Munchlax Jenny captured on Nabiki Beach. Oh yeah, okay, I remember now. That's the Munchlax that kept following Jenny around that day. That sounds like an ideal pair to me. Be good to each other. Munchlax! He goes jumping in sleep. Hey Jenny, you could call it a day now if you want. Going to take me up on that offer? What happens if I say no? Report to me if you'd like to knock off for the day. So you can just sort of walk around for funsies. That's sort of interesting, but could we do anything? We got some missions, maybe? No. Do we have some uh, quests, maybe? No. Then I don't know what the point is exactly. I guess we'll just talk to him for the sake of advancing the story. Call today now if you want to take it up on the offer. Sure. Well, I didn't miss out on something. Okay, good work for today.